Today I'm announcing designation of three Iranian transportation companies that helped Iran import items for its weapons of mass destruction programs. These programs involved uh, the siphoning of funds away from the oppressed Iranian people, and they augment the regime's campaign of terror and intimidation home and throughout the world. The companies designated today are as follows, the Islamic Republic of Iran Shipping Lines. It's the shipping line of choice for Iranian proliferators and procurement agents. Russell's WMD designation was lifted in January 2016 under the JCPOA, and that was an enormous mistake. Since then, that entity is knowingly engaged in activities and transactions that materially contribute to Iran's proliferation of WMDs. To allow exporters of humanitarian goods sufficient time to find alternative shipping methods, the designation will become effective 180 days on June 8th of next year. Second, we're designating eSale Shipping Company, a firm based in Shanghai. eSale knowingly transports illicit materials from Iran's Aerospace Industries Organization, which oversees all of Iran's missile industry. It has also worked with at least two other Iranian organizations subject to UN sanctions. Similarly to the previous one, this will take a place, uh, take effect 180 days from today. We're also designating Mahan Air and three of its sales agents effective immediately. You'll note Mahan Air is previously uh, designated under counterterrorism authorities back in October of 2011 for <laughs> providing support to the IRGC forces. But today's designation recognizes the specific role Mahan Air plays in WMD proliferation through its shipments of UN-restricted missile and nuclear items to Iran, including controlled graphite and T-700 carbon fiber. In addition, the United States is sanctioning an Iranian shipping network that helps smuggle weapons into Iran, excuse me, from Iran to Yemen uh, to support the IRGC Quds Force fighters. Uh, today's designations put the world on notice. Those who engage in illicit transactions with these companies will risk exposure to sanctions themselves. I also want to remind uh, Americans and people of all nationalities about the massive risks associated with travel to Iran. The State Department has previously issued a level four travel advisory for that country. It's our highest threat level. Americans, and particularly dual national Iranian Americans traveling to Iran, face a very high risk of kidnapping, arrest, and detention. All of the actions taken this week get to the heart of what makes America unique. 